Oh hello there friends, I'm so glad you are here to learn about volume today. You might be wondering what volume is. All 3D objects occupy some sort of space. Volume is the capacity within an object. Today, we are going to specifically look at the volume of rectangular prisms. Hey Sir Puffington, can I come help your lesson? I've been learning a lot about volume lately in your class. Of course you can, Stella. Wonderful. First, let's take a look at a unit cube. This might look familiar to you. You might have used these in class or maybe in that video game Mathcraft. This cube has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Since it is a cube, all sides are the same length. For a unit cube, each side is one unit. The volume of a unit cube is one cubic unit. Oh. That's why it is called a unit cube. I never understood that. Hey Sir Puffington, I put a bunch of unit cubes together to make a rectangular prism. Check it out. Wow. Stella you made a very nice rectangular prism. Do you know the dimensions of that prism? I think so. First, I made a base layer that has a length of 3 and a width of 2. Then, I built it up 3 layers high. Altogether, I used 18 cubes to make this prism. Nicely done. Did you know you actually just calculated the volume of the prism? The formula to calculate volume is length times width times height. The length is 3, the width is 2, and the height is 3. 3 times 2 times 3 equals 18 cubic units. Cubic units, because they are unit cubes. Oh wow, I'm learning so much today. That's right. Sometimes we show cubic units by putting a little 3, called an exponent, next to the unit. I always remember volume is 3 because we are multiplying 3 dimensions together. Length, width, and height. That makes so much sense. I built another prism out of unit cubes while you were talking. This time, I made a base layer of 3 cubes by 4 cubes. Then, I made a second layer. The dimensions are 3 by 4 by 2. The formula to calculate volume is length times width times height, so the volume of this rectangular prism is 3 times 4 times 2, which is 24 units cubed. I've totally got this. Additive volume is adding the volume of different three-dimensional shapes together to find the total volume. I will find the volume of the green model, and you find the volume of the purple model. We will add our totals together to find the total volume. The green model is two cubes across, two cubes back, and two cubes high. I multiplied two times two times two for a total of eight. You are up. The purple model is one cube across, two cubes back, and four cubes high. I multiply one times two times four and get a product of eight. Eight plus eight equals 16. The combined total of the two figures is 16 cubic units. Nicely done, Stella. Now, did you know we can also calculate the volume of rectangular prisms that aren't made out of unit cubes? Take my fish tank, for example. This is where I keep all of my pet fish. Wait a minute, aren't you a fish? You are a fish with pet fish? Now is not the time to point out strange details, Stella. Now, the fish tank has a length of 10 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 3 inches. Oh, I see. If we know the dimensions, we can just plug them into the formula to calculate volume. Bingo. Go ahead, give it a go. All right. The formula is length times width times height. 10 times 4 times 3 is 120 cubic inches. Check me out. I'm a volume rock star. Right on. Well, it seems you have learned all I can teach you today. I hope you remember the formula and can practice on your own out in the world. Cheerio.